Hello everyone, I'm Raja Rao. I'm the Director for Growth and Content here at Adaptive Tools. I'm really excited to talk to you about root cause analysis because it's a really powerful feature and enhances the productivity dramatically. So let's take a look. So for example, if you found a difference, uh, something like this login button here, typically what happens is as a QA engineer, you file a bug report and a developer needs to then reproduce it and try to figure out what's going on. That's basically what the root cause analysis is all about. There's a lot of work and this is all before they start fixing the bug itself. With the root cause analysis feature, what happens is that you come over here and you click on this root cause analysis button and then you simply click on the difference, uh, for example, the login button over here, and you will start to see all the differences between the baseline and the checkpoint. On the root cause analysis panel, you will see that the baseline is lifted at the top and the checkpoint is listed below that. Also notice that the baseline versions are all listed in red color and the checkpoint or the current versions are all listed in green color. So for example here, the baseline version of this specific button had an anchor tag, whereas the current version of the button has a button tag. Similarly, the baseline version had a sign in text, whereas the current version has login text. Uh, RCA is also really good in showing the differences in the attributes in the DOM elements. So here it is showing you that the class attribute in the previous version had a button space button dash primary and the current version has button space button dash secondary. And also in the previous version the element used to have an href tag that is to point to forward slash app.html but it's no longer there. Instead it has an on click javascript attribute that points to a login javascript function. Further it also talks about all the CSS rules that used to be applied into the previous version of the baseline image and also the CSS rules that are currently being applied to the latest version of the checkpoint image. And in addition, it also shows you the bounding box information, which shows you if the element size has changed or not. Then we also provide some nifty tools such as this one, which allows you to copy this URL and then share it with uh, your developers or in your bug reporting tool. And the developer or a manager opens that URL, they'll be directly brought into this specific page. Further, you can also click on this link to toggle between the baseline and the checkpoint images. And last but not least, you can click on this little copy button to copy the DOM path and share it in your bug report as well. And that's pretty much all the features I wanted to show you. As you can see, RCA is a very powerful tool that can take away a lot of work from both the QA teams and the developer teams and pinpoint the reasons for the differences or the root cause of the differences and really make you highly productive. So please check it out and let us know what you think.